window. Spots the players on the pass, goes to the peak towards middle. And just destroys the player there, Quicks is down. Yeah, Quicks going down early, could leave them in a bit of a deficit. They try and take their reply through connector here as they sprint in, but they're not ready for this crossfire. They extend too oh. far into it. Smooya. This one popular, the next one. They're going to be forcing it. Freddy being just going to go for the old risky play. It's so small. Molotov are going to be coming as well, though. Their feet are going to be getting pretty hot right now as they run straight through. The Nade also doing incredible damage, Mave. He's hungry for the ace right now as he rips his way through all of them. It's and it's happening again. Is this a sign of potentially weak mental fortitude when things go south? But of course, Arch in the one versus four picks up one. Freddy B is low, and actually, if he lines him up as well, there's a chance. Oh, oh Arch my is goodness. doing damage. Oh, yeah. He's off guard, but already to go one for one. Making it happen so far as they push in. They're actually connecting the shots and doing work. Oh, oh, Actually, going to be up and wins the draw as well. Let's give the man advantage now, make it two. But Flav now, what can he do in the clutch? Flav, two frags already to his name, but he still has to do a whole lot more as he'll peek out, connects the headshot. Has to try and make the play. He will charge through, but caught in midair, so he couldn't quite be accurate. Will go down. Smooth with his sidearm finding frags, but it's all up to Freddy B. Oh, no. He's been winning clutches, but surely not again. Quicks walk straight past him. No one is aware of his location. He could defuse the bomb here if he plays it smart. Just depends on how he actually decides to play this one. No one no. pushing towards the bomb. He will get one kill as the push comes in. He realizes he's left it too late and he has to back off. Yeah. His job here is to try and take money away from Prophecy. Oh. He did that. And have ranged jewels if they wanted it. We're talking about ranged jewels. The off the first kill. Arch, she far bar, eventually gets one, but there you go. Trying to line up the spray, but it's going to be three versus one. Already a bit of a messy round from those. They're trying to hold on to these weapons, ideally, and Cosme finds the first kill. And the second as well, Cosme blows the round out of the water. He's just got to get one more frag to reset this and pick it up for Epsilon as the push comes through. It's just a UMP, so he doesn't really want to take the fight towards Fleet. Yes. Shooting from. Here comes the commitment. The question is, can they hold the line? Push is coming out. There's easy frags going the way of Prophecy right now, though, as they take their hit towards the A-bomb site. Mavis ready to do damage with this UMP, though. We'll get one. Nearly the second, but he couldn't quite manage it, so it's all up to Barba. The in-game leader. He's got himself the AK as well. The backbone going to be coming in the rear and catches him off guard. Fleet on the one versus three, finds one. He tries to land the second. Eventually, he will do as it turns into the one versus two. Freddy and Barba now, the Swedish duo. What remains of the previous Epsilon lineup going to be going toe to toe versus Fleev, the Hungarian potential star here, as he finds a third as well. Now in the one versus one, but has no key. He has to be quick. Huge plays so far from Fleev. He has been dominating throughout the game. In an individual scenario like this, there's always a chance. Already a hat trick to his name. He taps the bomb, try to force the face. Barbar will give position away. Can't quite connect the shots just yet. He has the smoke wall to try and protect him. He's going to tiptoe around it and try and strike with the correct timing. Gets it off. There's no time. Finds the headshot, there? but there's no time. He's I think he has it. Get, he might actually have it, though, yeah. I'm not sure. I guess we're about to find out, but it's going to be very close. I don't think he has. Ooh. Oh. As they've secured it for now. Just going to hold those aggressive afterplants as well. Barbar with a juicy up double kill as he opens up the round somehow as well. Finds Kolor and Kali. Cosme will go down towards Arch, but even then it's still three versus four retail. Flee from behind, though, gets one, has to go even large. He wants a chance of maybe turning this one around, but Smooth was the jaw. It's going to be the three versus two. There's a kit right now for the CT side. But eventually, everyone shall fall. There you have it. Three players staying alive for Epsilon on the T side, and they go and tunnel and force back the CTs. Oh, they're playing the close angle as the support of Lee, but they actually realize what's occurring. Ooh. Struggle Barbar with the double entries. He saw through the sky. Barbar is reigning supreme right now. Cosmin as well. Finds that tree. Will start to come in ever so soon as they end up their way towards the bomb site. Kolos snipes down Cosmin. He's ready for more, but he's caught off guard as he had his pants around his ankles. Barbar is still finding all of these frags. They're just toying with Kyle Calais right now. As he's going to get behind them, Calais will actually get that one kill. Switches out to the AWP as well. He picked up a kill. Grabs the kid, jumps on the bomb. Freddy B's just gonna run and try and go for the knife. He just take one left click. Oh, he gets it! Quicks, but the mollies and utility on the side of Epsilon could be very effective, but Arch does damage actually gets the initial frag spammed away as well. Him and Kolor take down Freddy B and Barba. It all falls on towards Smoothie now. And the very awkward stuff there. Close and down to the wire. Cosmine striking though. As it's 2v2, it's still so close. Cosmine actually goes it's massive. to be the distraction when they go for this push as Cosmine has the rifle. They need to try and peek him together, force this to be a two versus one, not two 1v1s. But Calais, everything shaping up to allow him to win the round right now. He's just got to land the shot with Cosmine. One tag towards him. He can try and plant, but they've just got to peek. They know that he's going to be forced into going for the plant right here, right now. The spam coming through as well. They don't quite connect it just yet. He's staying alive, tries to be ground, but Cosmine will get the shot. Epsilon take it. It's a free old fashion. They win this best of five grand final. They are your champions. Champions of the Gfinity Elite Series. A clean sweep from the international lineup as they take the stage and they claim themselves 40,000 pounds 